Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And here you see me hanging out on the 8th gear server. Waiting for Bruffy1322 to get the race going. Not the G-Fred yet. We're not, we're not talking about the G-Fred Derf G turbo race. That's getting its own video. There was a lot of racing. I was pretty lucky. I got in pretty early. Not super early, but enough to get a few races in. To warm me up before I had to attack a what turned out to be a Derf G. But for right now, I'm just hanging out in my Mustang here. That was the, actually the license plate on my dad's gold 1969 Mach 1 before the license plate itself got stolen, oddly enough. And another, I forget what was on the other plate, but that was the, the numbering I remembered from my youth. It was actually a yellow plate with blue on it. That was, that was the old Pennsylvania plates back in the day. And this Dominator has been made up as close as I can to my dad's old Mach 1. That I got to go to, uh, to grade school in. Get to school in the morning. I still remember him, uh, we were, we were running late because I was always running late. Just a, was always running late, pretty much still am always running late. Just the nature of me. I'm always a little bit over budgeted, I guess. It's just how I am. But... Uh, I still remember that we had to get around a garbage truck once and there was nothing coming and Dad uh, went around him and when he punched it, it just lit the rear tires up and it was like a scene from Bullet, only you were on your way to school. It was it was really great. Someone's, that was a good delivery. Now I'm getting texted? Who's texting me now? Nothing. It just beeped for no reason. I see no reason for this to be beeping. But anyway, it was like a scene from Bullet, only you were, uh, you're going to school. It was a great car. 351, four barrel. Four speed on the floor. Aha! So we're going to join on GNGR Jetsons GP. Something went wrong with this section, because I remember I was trying to pick, it wasn't letting me pick the earlier or two. Oh, they canceled. He did. He had to change something. I remember what it was. Uh, that particular track, he suddenly remembered what the track was and says, "No, we're not doing this track. I'm not falling for this." It was one of those those scenes. So we're just hanging out, looking at my exhaust here. I thought this this may eventually become a uh, a screenshot for my background here. We will do that. Can I hit that button and what do a thing? I don't know. We'll get there. We'll make it a screenshot at some point. That'll be my background. So now we're going to do Los Santos GP North Loop. I think there's a whole discussion of whether the North Loop would crash. But we're in. In the Valera. As I recall, the North Loop is pain. At least for me. I'm not super familiar with it. Right, let's let's spruce up the car while they're talking about stuff. What do we go with? I think I went with slate blue because it's pretty close to my crew blue. Although we were... I was open to, you know, whatever colors. Top coat. And I think I was just playing with this, trying to look at it until uh, eventually the race just starts. So we get we end up with something. I mean, you know. Unfortunately, it doesn't preview each of them for you, like it does in the game. So there's lime green. I think that's what ends up being selected because pretty soon, there we go. Waiting for the lights. By the way, don't expect this to go well. Not even, not even a little bit, no. 
from back in 84. It's a massively multiplayer kind of thing. Oh, I'm now suddenly realizing that this really, really doesn't go well. And you'll see in a moment. And this is a through no fault of my own camping. Kind of I know what you're saying. How could that be? With with everything turned like you, we've got no contact. No one can wreck you. Well, just because no one can wreck you, that doesn't mean that no one can crash you. I'm just saying. And again, I don't, I don't do this race terribly often. But it's because I'm not here on the weekend, so yeah, I crashed. Apparently, like twenty people crashed out. And I think I may edit some no, of this out. What sprint again? And here we are, the next race. This is how the next race started. Like, what am I supposed to be doing here? It's just dropping me into the water. There's too many people. The race isn't set up for it. You know, it's very hard to get a good race going when you're underwater. These are the dangers of having to do a 110 person race. I'm just drowning now. Just drown. Drown me again. Obviously, I'm not the only person. Jump the start. I don't know that I jumped the start. I fell into the water. What am I supposed to be doing here? That's why I'm wondering. You know, it's okay. So finally, we start the actual race. Now I'm back in 101st after that whole debacle. All right. Well, let's see. Can we do relatively well here? Completely unknown track to me. But we're starting at 101st. How can what can we what can we do? Apparently, we can spin out as it went off the course the wrong way. Thankfully, it's once again non contact This is a pretty narrow course in the rain. All right, let's settle in. Let's settle down. Settle down. There's probably a way of wall riding there, but there may or may not be a way of wall riding there. I'm not real sure. I never did it. Either intentionally or accidentally. Kind of work my way around the track here. Learn where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> and then my wife starts vacuuming right outside the door. Okay, let's let's pause for a moment here. A few moments later. Okay, where where were we? Off the wall. Off the wall again. My videos are in general pretty off the wall.
and we're after all that still I think what I'm, I'm a place below where I was originally Boing. Don't worry, there are larger disasters to come, so... It's a funky track. I think well suited for the vehicle that we've certainly chosen here. It seems to be just designed for trophy trucks, which, you know... Can you imagine doing this on an Italian GTO? You know, it's funny, I watched the yellow truck do it, and I thought, maybe he's supposed to glide this, and then it didn't glide. It bounced like crazy. But at least visually interesting, it was definitely a visually interesting moment. I'm not the only person bouncing around and spinning out. And I don't think I'm making positions from my own speed as much as the track killing everybody, you know. Yeah, let's do a track in the rain in a bouncy, bouncy vehicle. So lots of jumps. That was entirely too long a drift, I think. And I'm pushing the truck a little too hard there. I thought I took that pretty well, all things considered. Oh, I missed a checkpoint. Back down a 103. Womp, womp, womp. Again, you d I just don't know the track. And you're sliding all over the place, and you don't know the track, and... Now I've got no hood. I've lost all the positions and then some that I made up. But there's always hope for a better lap, right? I think I took that pretty conservatively and I still just want to, to slide around. Am I in absolute last? I'm absolutely in last place. Wow. So 103rd is definitely possible, I think is what we're saying here. A bounce and twitch and twitch and bounce. Uh-oh, we have a floptical kind of thing going on there. It didn't go crazy on that one, so we'll... We'll see how that... That probably helped a little bit. I'm voicing this over well after the, the, the events of the race, so I have no idea how any of it turns out. I think I have at least one more spectacular crash. But we're going to find out together. We're going to find out together. That was really conservative, but it seemed to work for me. I think if I'd hit it any harder, I would have hit something hard. Almost, almost too much there. That was good. Now I think I was, my thought process at this point was, does Bruffery require us to go through the pits at least once? 
he'll often do that. I didn't have the stream on at this point. So I had no idea if that was a rule. So I was like, hey, let's be on the safe side. Let's go through it once. I needed a hood anyway. You don't want this water getting into the electrical system, right? I kid, I kid. It's an off-road truck. I'm sure the electrical system is nice and sealed for water and mud. And I might add, I have no idea if that came up because as I leaned in to say it's a video game, uh, the wire wiggled on my, my uh, headphones and everything went dead. So I don't know what that sounds like, whether it affected the uh, microphone or not. As I run my headphones through the mic jack, that's just how it all is. And there we go again. I'm now one position ahead of where I was. And that happened. Let's let's shoot for last, why don't we? I am ahead of three people. Out of 103. Now I'm ahead of two people. I don't know why there's a, a yellow P next to Flambe. Maybe he had to stop to pee. It was distracting enough that I hit a wall. Now to give you an idea, SIPTEC is turning 210s. I think I was in what, the 230s or something like that? I forget. I have a vague memory of it being something wildly different than that. The race is over. I don't even know if I'm on the same lap. Got no traction whatsoever. I would like to point out that there's nothing forcing me to share these disastrous results. Of but I don't want to show you just when I'm winning races, you know, or just when I'm doing well. I want, I want you to have a realistic expectation for what can happen to you in the game. And you know what, no matter what's going on, I just got that hood fixed. No matter how much hard you're trying and how quickly you can try to learn to try, and sometimes, somehow Flambe, oh, this must be a timed race. So even though he's 103rd, he's actually finished it because he, I think he did less of a lap somehow. That's, so I can't be last. So that, that's good. So whenever I finish it will be my end of my race here. And it's basically down to me and Mad Bad Maddie. I don't think I can reel in Doodle Donk. Doodle Donk's too far, way too far out ahead. But on the plus side, and in a weird way, it looks like I'm going to finish in the same position that I started. I almost, I almost reeled it in, but 101st, that's what it was. Started 101st, finished at 101st. My current lap was 239 versus the winner's 210. It did not go well. What should I have done differently? Not a clue. Not a clue, I tell you. I should have driven faster. I don't know what was required for that. That was my first time on the track. Maybe next time will be better. First time in the truck, first time in the track. Basically didn't know anything. That's my excuses. Hi, Hannah. I have no idea who Hannah is. Why is there a tow truck suddenly there? That's... How are people suddenly exploding? Exploding is the thing. Oh dear, I guess that's how people are exploding. Ooh, just missed me. He's changing, he's gonna, oh, now top fuel. 
That's the power of 8th gear. You can just switch to whatever car you want whenever you feel like it. It's quite a beautiful thing. And there are, you know, between 8th gear and Project Homecoming, I think they all have their their own specialities. I'm not real... I don't know if they share a, uh, a set of cars. Or if some are just for one thing or another. And boing me! Wow! Now, I would have thought that would have gone differently. I would have thought I was launching into the air instead I launched the, the bus. So that was interesting. Ooh! The Molache Crunch! Reference to an old Happy Days uh, thing. There was an episode where Fonzie gets into a demolition derby to save his, uh... Was it Pinky Tuscadero he was saving from the, the evil Malache brothers? There are only three cars left in this derby. Arthur Fonzarelli in car number six against the dreaded Malachi brothers. The unscrupulous Count Malachi and his not-so-evil brother Rocco. Good times. Woo! Just missed. Just here, hanging with 13 fish, waiting for the next race. BGNZ Lego Utopia. Lego Utopia in the adder. Oh yeah, I remember this. Again, the race is not prepared for 111 people. 111 people. I have no idea what was making that blink like that. I don't even think I could move. I think that we can. Was I just not trying? Because look at me, I'm underneath the floorboards here. I'm in the wall. I don't know what the heck happened there. I hit, I hit the wrong button, I guess. And now I'm getting another beep. Oh, there you go. Okay, that's that beep. And I fall through the floor, and here I am. Lining up for another, tr another race. Takes a little bit. There's Vinable and VR. We're all in adders. And now the actual race. By the way, I've, I have decorated this Nero just like I have in uh, my regular GTA Online. I think that's on my main character. Lots of people jump to start. I don't know what that does to you. And now here we are on another land track in a highly powered car with not great handling. I've given it the same off-roaders and stuff that I have on my one in Manila, regular GTA Online. I don't know that that matters on this server, but hey, they're there. What I do know that this car has that my other one doesn't have is the active spoiler. You can tell I don't do a lot of non-contact racing because I'm actually still trying to stay out of the way of the cars even though it does not matter. To be fair, inside the stream of cars, it's very hard to tell what's going on. At least for me. And as I'm watching this, 
I'm not sure why the cars are pulling away from me on the straightaway. We're all in the same car. We're all going straight. I mean, there's nothing. Why? Is this another computer PC computer performance thing? Can I close on some people here? Is it just a matter of momentum coming out of turns and stuff like that? I'm going to lose a lot of momentum here. And there's a couple turns coming up that no matter what track they're on, whenever these these turns are included in the in the uh, in the racetrack, I go off the road. Just so you're aware, every single time. Off in this one. That's a, that's a that's a frequent one that I go off the track on. I'm not alone apparently. And you'll know what happens. Like, I'm looking at this. It's all right, this should be like a fast sweeper. Nope, nuts. Barely hung on to that. Almost missed the turn altogether. I thought the track was going the other way, and I wasn't alone on that either. Now I'm behind the wall. Oh, I just respawn already. It's... It takes a second before you get back. Control. But we're not, we're not doing great. And I'm going to point out one other thing in advance of this, of when it happens. It hasn't happened yet. While I'm doing this race, it's a funny old thing. Ruffy had a cough. And you guys, if you listen, to, if you're on my channel, you know I have like just a, a cough of my own on a regular. I have just a persistent, you know, chronic cough. This is one of the turns. I can never, I can, I, I break there, it doesn't matter. I always go up the wall. I just psychologically, I felt like I needed to, you know, get a cough drop or something. Well, I had these, that's the other turn. I always, always screw up. I will, not, not the last time I'll screw this up. But, I had some, uh, some lollipops. They were, where the heck are they? I still have the bag here somewhere. Da, 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 da. What's that special kind of honey? Manitoba, whatever. Anyway, they were like honey flavored or honey based co uh, cough lollipops. They're lollipops that were particularly useful if you have a cough. And they're there. He's got a cough. I kind of figured out, oh, man, I, I feel like there's a tickle. I'm not voicing it over. I just figured I would. So I, I'm eating a couple of these cough, these, uh, cough drops. And all of a sudden, my back molar, the furthest back molar on the upper left, uh, decides to exit stage right. Yep. Yep. No pain. I mean, it's, uh, because they, this was, I went completely the wrong way here. This is just didn't know where to go. Wasn't clear. I thought I was following that guy. This is just wrong. But anyway, so somewhere on here, you're going to see the car completely stop as... The tooth just comes completely undone in my mouth. I'm totally not kidding. Totally not kidding. I've gone completely the wrong way. Somewhere along the line I realize this. I don't know if this is where I lost the tooth or not. It's possible. But that tooth, had, like 20 years ago, I had a root canal in it. I'm like, yeah, this is all wrong. There's nobody here. Oh, I have to go this way. So, yeah, but 20 years ago, I was, I'll put you this way. 30 years ago. I went to, uh, I was looking for a dentist, and I went to a dentist recommended by my in-laws. There's a joke here, never go to a dentist, you know, recommended by your in-laws. But, I mean, there, there was no malice here. The guy was their dentist. I guess he wasn't too bad dentist overall. But I had a filling that needs to be done in that tooth, as I recall. And uh, we're going back a lot of decades, but this is how I remember it. So, he thought, oh, we can do this without Novocaine. It's not real, it's not real deep. What the heck? 
somethings. What's going on? Oh. It's a phone number. Oh, yeah, that's on my other phone. Okay. That's spam. We're going to ride through this, guys. We're going to work our way through this. It's a long race. So he decides, the dentist decides, that we're going to do this without any Novocaine. And, you know, a little ways into this, he's finding out this is deeper than he thought it was. And I'm telling him where the troops are. Oh, yeah, there's, there's this many troops on the other side of the hill. Please stop. Please, this is extremely painful. So he stops and he fills the tooth. Well, I don't know that he filled it enough. I don't think he did enough with it. Because several years later, I'm in my kitchen. I forget, I think I was going somewhere. I had to grab, I was just grabbing something quick, and I bit into a hot dog on a bun. Now, a hot dog and a bun, not very hard things. But I had the most stunning, stunning pain that you could ever imagine. And what happened is, is that the tooth had collapsed in on itself, right into the hot nerve. And I was stuck like that for a couple days because my, my regular dentist, at this point, I had changed dentists by this point, by the way. I never went back to that guy. Uh, so my regular dentist, who was very good, is just retiring now. I have to find another dentist. But uh, he was sick. He recommended me to a guy he knew who did, uh, who did a root canal on it. And he did it. It, it held up for 20 years. 20 years easy and uh, then just recently it decided no nope, heck with it we're we're not doing this we're we're not, we're not doing it not 21 years and that happens during this race that's the, the main okay I, I'm looking at on my on my phone here you guys want to hear what the uh, that phone call was Dear customer, thank you for shopping with Amazon. Your purchase of the Lenovo gaming computer will be delivered tomorrow. A total amount of $1,975 will be debited from your bank account for the purchase. If you authorize this transaction, but no action is re if you authorize this transaction, but no action is required. This is not English. Hold on. If you authorize this transaction, but no action is required. But if you have a dispute, press one and speak with one of our. Customer support, I repeat, if you have a dispute, press one. Um Yeah, that's uh that's that's completely bogus. If you ever get one of those, you can you can feel free to ignore that. This is complete and then I just get another text from Mortgage Capital Act asking me if I want to. Man, while you're trying to record, it's the middle of a day on a Friday. You think, leave me alone, gang. I think by this point I've lost the tooth. And I've learned how to go down here. And then crash. But it bounces you just the right way, so that's good. And I bet you're asking right now what I was asking myself then. And, you know, all kinds of other things. How am I doing this well? How am I not in dead last at this point with all the disaster that has gone on? But here I am in 91st now. Seven seconds back from UH-1. But trying, trying just to drive well. Or at least learn the car and learn the... Because, you know, it's not even exactly like my uh, regular adder. It's going to grip a little bit better because it's got that spoiler. I have no idea why it doesn't work on the regular adder. That would be a nice thing to add right now, uh, Rockstar, you know? Weeing around and bang and trying to get around and around we go. I don't even know if I finish this. I really don't. Whatever that lap is, it is way faster than whatever I'm throwing down. Almost certainly.
So I'm now 11 seconds back from UH1. I'm 9 seconds up from Cosnefix. Cosnefix? That sounds like a cable channel. Tune in to Cosnefix for all of your sports needs and racing. I am just behind Pato Fox now, who has DNF'd. So I'm trying to catch up to there. I guess I caught Pato Fox. DNFs are, you know, are happening. And you know, people disconnect from these things that happen. That's what happened to me in that first race. So I guess like 20 people disconnected from that race in the discussions afterwards. I don't know if I mentioned that before. Hey, look, I didn't completely screw that up. All right. I feel like I'm the only person in the world in this race now. I'm just so far off of everybody. And this is where I, this is the section where every time I'm in a race, I tend to just coast this puppy off the turns. Really just jam the brakes there. This turn always looks like I should be able to do better. But you know what? Now that I'm looking at it, there's a little bit of an arch to the road. And I think it jumps you into the turn. So you have to be really, really slowed down like that so you don't get yeeted into the bushes, into the, the rocks. I don't know what that white car is up there. Someone just watching the race? Could be something. I don't know. Looking at the map, but there's not an actual white car. Look, there's a white dot. As opposed to the red dots. Don't actually know what the white and red mean. I'm not. I guess I'll, as I do more of these eighth gear kind of races, I'll get more in tune with what's going on. By the way, 153, considerably faster than what a Nero will do back in vanilla. Not a Nero, it's a, an Adder. Well, considerably faster, did I say Nero before? Considerably faster than what an Adder will do anywhere else. Pushing too hard here because we're running out of time. By the way, as I'm recording this voiceover, still haven't gotten the tooth fixed yet. No, no it's going to have to be extracted. And I don't currently yet have a dentist. I have to call on that. It's easy to forget about because it doesn't hurt, so... Not particularly. There's nothing very much there, but it's going to have to be done at some point for the health of your face. Blue flag. I don't know how I could be holding up slower cars when the car behind me is 15 seconds. There's a car in front of me. So unless I'm getting lapped, if I am getting lapped, as I recall, this is a, a, a non-contact race. So let them drive through me. I don't care. I'm not moving over for nothing. Not this time for nothing. that up to 87th somehow I have 105 which I guess is considering I lost a tooth during this race that's not too bad right it's just I think right now it's just the game is taunting me for being so slow with this blue flag nonsense. See, there's a car I can see coming up, but we're, we're transparent, gang. 
That's the leader. So I am now officially a lap down. And I, I tried to follow him at that pace and do things. I guess that worked out okay, but still, I think it, there was some emergency braking there because it just, for whatever reason. Like, that's kind of a huge difference there. I don't know. Is it just the line through the turns? Does he just not have to brake because his lines are so good? I don't understand. I know I have to brake through here. It's... I don't have to break through here a lot. More than that. My goal at this point is just not to do this. I mean, I was really trying to be careful there, too. Lapped and lapped. The leaders are going past, but at least I'm not alone. I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Why is it that... These guys are going around here like their cars are on rails. And mine is sliding like this. Like I'm actually, as I'm trying to pace them, screwing myself up because it's just not, there's something not. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I literally don't know what I'm doing wrong. Somehow I've picked up a spot here. Hundred and sixty thou hit. It's impressive. Especially when you hit a wall at 160. Questicles set the fastest lap of the race. Almost got a Bruffy special. Thankfully, this is over. 86. Was that good? Was that bad? It's bad, obviously, but it was, it was, you know, considering all things, considering I lost a tooth. And this is where we're, we're kind of wrapping it up. You know, this is after the race. There's no more racing to do, but there certainly was practice because the next thing up was the G-Fred, the Dirt D versus G-Fred. Like, what happened there? Okay, I'm gonna edit this up. We're gonna we're gonna meet loaf the end of this for anything that's kind of interesting. At this point, I might have been trying to figure out what was going on with my tooth after all the racing was over. I don't remember. It wasn't the cars had better times. But technically speaking, that race is still going on. I drove down here. while other people are finishing their laps. And this is me thinking, I can I can do the Hail Mary. And I've done the Hail Mary. I don't know why I was having so much trouble with this. Maybe because my car was absolutely annihilated. I did it, it took exactly the same line, and it did that. And I'm like, what the heck? Oh, on this note, folks, I got a bunch of editing to do on this one. I'll be able to, have to clean this, this video up a bit. But the next time you see a racing video from me, probably a week you know, from now, when I put the racing up on Sunday, you know, the win on Sunday thing, it will be Dirt G versus G Fred, 8th gear, 121 players. Hope to see you there. Am I trying another one here? Maybe not. But on this note, folks. We. This is your Black Knight. Have a great night.
They call him Pankrow Jones. They call him Pankrow Jones. Call him Pankrow Jones. Or that's what he calls himself. Calls himself Pankrow Jones. But we call him that too. Call him Pankrow Jones. And he's on my roof. Call him Pankrow Jones. Standing on my roof. Where am I going with this? I have no idea.